He used to love Shreveport. He loved the river, he swam it, he went to the bayou. He was ours, and this was his. The Red River, the lakes, Bistano, Caddo, Jonas Kelso thrived in the water. Maybe that's why after Caddo Magden High School, Jonas joined the Navy. Went through the toughest training of them all, buds. Eventually becoming Lieutenant Commander Jonas Kelso, the best of the best assigned to SEAL Team 6. With him, an old friend from high school, the one he used to kick the soccer ball around with in the front yard on Ratcliffe, Rob Reeves. They played sports together, and Jonas would ride his motorcycle over to the house, and they'd spend time in the house, a lot of joking around. And... Both of them were magnetic personalities, natural leaders. People were just drawn to them. He was, he was our captain. He was the guy that you, know, you wanted to play for him and with him. Jonas had a private side, too. In high school, he wrote a poem no one was supposed to find. But the last line read, I will not ring the bell. He didn't. Hundreds of others failed he would not. In fact, Jonas was good at everything he tried except talking about himself. He, he never wanted it to be about him. You, you, would, you would thank him, you would you know, say you're proud of him, you would say how amazing, the kind of amazing work that he's doing. He would always deflect it. He, he didn't want the attention on him. He, he would either talk about his men Then, on a hot August night, 2011, Jonas is on a mission to rescue American troops pinned down by the Taliban. His Chinook helicopter, filled with 22 members of the elite SEAL Team 6, is hit by an enemy missile. Everyone is killed, including Jonas and his high school teammate, Rob Reeves. All the years that I'd known Jonas and that been in and out of our house and for both of them to end up on that helicopter. Ironically, the day Jonas died, his best friend was on that river again. I uh, started getting texts from people and, and then finally got a call from his wife. And so when I picked up the phone, I, I had a, a pretty bad feeling about it. Uh, so, um, A couple of years later, next to that river that he loved, we dedicated a memorial to both of them. So that here, where they both grew up, where they both became young men, generations from now, a little boy will stand, read the words, hear the stories, and want to grow up to be just like Rob Reeves and Jonas Kelsaw. People say, you know, they talk about sacrifice and it wasn't a sacrifice. He did not consider it a sacrifice. He considered what he was doing, um, something he absolutely loved. He considered it the greatest honor, his greatest honor. So he, he didn't want us to dwell on him. He want, didn't want us to consider it a sacrifice. And this was his honor to do what he did. It's the only thing he wanted to do. He would want us to step up and, and lead our best possible life and not and not be content to just, you know, sit and let it pass us by.